press asks you, will you win? And you go, well, yeah, you know, we, we hope we're going to win. And then the headline the next day is, we're going to win the World Cup. And then when you get sent home after three or four games, you know, it gets thrown in your face. So I, 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 do, I have to say, I think, if, if people do ask a question, it's very good to kind of keep it low. I think we've got a good team, we've got chances, but we keep it... So actually, having slightly lower expectations is, mm -hmm. is better for you guys going out there? I think so, because you know what, actually, just talking about it all the time actually means nothing. And I think the lads showed um, by playing... Uh, Getting the results is what all that matters. Let's talk about the uh, the new manager. Yes. OK, because we have, and, and not everyone knows this perhaps, but Harry Redknapp, who's here this evening, is your uncle. Yes. Uh, he's in the green room right now. He's managed you in the past. You've played for him on teams he's managed. I came you. through, I, yeah, basically Harry brought me through at West Ham many years ago okay. now. So when they were looking for the manager, it seemed to me, everyone seemed to think Harry was going to get the job. Mm -hmm. Were you excited about the, the thought of working with him again in that capacity? Uh, anyone who works with family will tell you the same thing. Uh, father, sons, uncles, nephews and that stuff. And it brings up a lot of uh, complications, probably. And we had a few at West Ham when we were younger. And um, there would have been a major one with Harry getting the job, probably with us, because the minute you're in a team with an, another manager is fine. When it's your uncle that's picking you, then, you, you know, people say, ah, because your uncle's manager. People think it's preferential treatment. They do, they do. And not to say Harry would have been, wouldn't have been a great England manager, I believe he would have been. But, um, yeah, certainly on a personal note, there would have been difficult. Listen, we would have got on with it and I would have tried to play my best and see if I got picked. And on the other side of the coin, would Roy Hodgson... Roy, let me correct that, pronounce that properly, because I, I was trying so hard to get the word in Roy that I'd messed up the... <laughs> 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 I don't know why I bother, because he doesn't put the effort in. OK, so... <laughs> Hello, Jonathan Ross here. You're watching the Jonathan Ross Show YouTube channel. This is behind-the-scenes stuff. We're going to try and do some more of this. But, of course, I think this will be a great time to introduce you to one of tonight's guests. Gordon Ramsay is right here. Big Gordon. Yes. And you've swag. Got... Swag, swag. <laughs> on you. Claire? Yep. Chilling by the...